In this lesson, we're going to discuss the basics of improvisation. Now, if you haven't already started to improvise and you're not so sure where to start, then this is a good place. However, if you've had some experience in improvisation, don't automatically click away and, and leave the video just yet because there are some things that maybe you could still use because some of these things that I'm going to mention are things that I will use in my practice still, even if it's for a warm up, even if it's just to get my hands moving and uh, get back into playing the instrument if I've been away for a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started on some things that will hopefully help you get started on your journey if you haven't started to improvise yet. Basically, show you what it will be like most likely when you're starting off in, in, in um, improvising over top of this is that you have you know some openness you're trying to explore if we already start to set up a time source then it it distracts the mind to be able to have the learning process take place so this is our learning process that we're going through finding our thirds and finding thirds within the areas of the different um, spots on the guitar knowing that here's our thirds here here's our thirds here here so now you have one, three, five, and seven. And if you set up um, a uh, drone or, or some kind of a comping, what you could do is start to establish, establish your phrases. That way you're starting with the third or you start with the fifth. You start with the seventh. And you could even go back and land on it as a target point. But when you have something in the back that signals that this is the tonic, then you can hear it in relationship to that. These are established. I have a specific rhythm that's established. But the order at which I approach is the improvisational part of this. And you might be thinking, well, that just seems really, really condensed into really no choice at all. But there is a choice in that. You could go wherever you want as far as to the next chord tone. And by starting small and have a very, having a very specific way of, of handling this improvisation, you don't find yourself paralyzed by all the options that could be available to you. By focusing on these three things, which could take a while to do, and establishing a basis that will allow you to be more creative over time is going to make the whole process of improvisation a bit easier as you go.